So when we look at the formal charges for NO3 minus, we're going to ignore resonance structures for right now. We're just really going to look at NO3 minus and calculate the formal charges. Let's look at the oxygen on the left first. That'll be the same as the one on the top. So on the periodic table, oxygen is in group 6 or 16. It has six valence electrons. And then non-bonding electrons, that's the electrons that are not involved in chemical bonds. These ones right here, we have two, four, six of those. And then bonding valence electrons, we have one bond right here. That's two valence electrons, but we'll divide that by two as shown in the equation. Six minus six minus one gives us a minus one formal charge for this oxygen right here. And we said that'll be the same as this oxygen right here. Let's do the oxygen with the double bond now. So oxygen again on the periodic table, six valence electrons. Non-bonding, we have two four non-bonding valence electrons. And then bonding, we have a double bond. So we have two, four, four valence electrons in that double bond. We'll divide it by two. So six minus four minus two gives us a formal charge of zero for this oxygen right here. Finally, for the nitrogen in the center, nitrogen on the periodic table, group five or 15, has five valence electrons. Non-bonding, well, all the valence electrons for nitrogen are involved in chemical bonds. And then we have two, four, six, eight. So we have eight valence electrons divided by two. So nitrogen has a formal charge of plus one. We like our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. In this case, of course, we'll have at least a negative one since a negative ion. Nitrogen can only have eight valence electrons. We cannot violate the octet rule with nitrogen. So this is pretty much where we're at with this Lewis structure. So the formal charges for NO3 minus overall, negative one, negative one, and positive one. So we have an overall net formal charge for NO3 of minus one. And that makes sense because we have a negative up here. It also makes sense that the formal charges that are negative are on oxygen, which are more electronegative, and that the nitrogen has a plus one formal charge since it's less electronegative than the oxygen. Those are the formal charges for NO3 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.